Oh, a fucking bee bang. So I have to move out of my room. <sighs> that has my own bathroom. Um, pretty much because I can't afford it right now. I'm looking for a new job. Super excited to get that new job out of the way. As soon as I do, maybe I can move back in here if it's necessary. Like I try to put everything in this room and make it work that I need, you know? And it's been working pretty well. But having the studio in my room is not working because it no room is big enough for a studio anyway. So I will be like sharing space with uh, my roommate in the living room with a studio space so I can have all my equipment there. Um, she'll put a camera on it just so like keep track of it and make sure no one steals anything. But everything should be good because none of my roommates steal. They're all pretty adults and kind of cool, actually. Um, so I don't think anything will happen to my stuff. So then we're just gonna, I'm gonna be able to put my equipment out there and then in my room, actually have my room be a room for a change. And then that's gonna be really good. I think that's what I may need because my room is actually compiled of more equipment than anything. And I don't even get to use it all the time because it kind of gets cramped and I have to like schedule out when I'm going to use what, like I would love to rather just set up my equipment and just have it there able to go, um, all day, every day. I just had to go in there, flip on a switch, and go work. You know? I could bring, leave this fan down there. I'll have my lights. And then I'll have, I could even set up my backdrop. Um, there's so much I'll be able to do. But okay, yeah, so I'm looking forward to doing it. I'm looking forward to setting it up. It is better moving on to something better because I do like this room, it is, but it is expensive. And why I like this room is because I have my own personal space and my bathroom. Um, and I was able to film and not bother anyone. And also... What else? Is that it? Is that the only reasons? The bathroom, the space, the filming. Yeah, I think that's it. Those are the reasons. And I still will have that. And the rent will be cheaper. And I won't feel cluttered in my room. And then when I want to film something, I'll just go out of my comfort zone into the studio downstairs. And then... I'll be able to film there. And that'll be really cool. Because then, because I haven't, I've been realizing like when I'm in my room, um, it's just, you just get so comfortable. And then maybe I don't um, do the, um, maybe I'm not as productive as I would be 
if I was in a workspace instead of like a comfort comfort of my room space. There is a big difference. Um, so that's that for sure. There, that's a really big difference. And I've been doing the room and I thought like if my room got a little bigger, then I'll be able to like manage the the working in your room and having the studio in your room at the same time. But in the end, I realized it it would just made it feel more cramped. And um, my work is not as good as I wanted it as it could be because of the space that I gave myself, you know? It was like, like um, a goldfish only gets as big as its tank, you know? And I was limiting myself as in like what I could do for my, my content. And I was li limiting myself greatly by just saying, oh, I could just only produce right here in this space. And before, and I know that's not true because I could build my content all throughout the house, all throughout the space. And I didn't just need that space to make it happen, you know? I didn't. So now... I'll be able to have cheaper rent and I'll be able to work in this space right here. Um, right here. And then these couches are going to be gone. And I want to put a backdrop right here so that you guys could you know like a like a whole space and then i'm gonna be sharing it with my roommate um well she's allowing me to share her space actually so like i'm gonna be because i only rent the room you know not the part of the living room uh but she's gonna be using her space as storage for her um merchandise because she has an e-commerce store and the Etsy store too. So, you know, we'll be working together on some project when she gets rolling and I'll just be actually creating stuff uh, for you guys. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of cool, right? There's more lighting. Um, you guys might like it a lot, actually. I might be able to actually create something here in the future. Who knows? Hopefully. For you, do anything for you guys, hopefully. Yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little update. This could go anywhere. I feel like this is going to Patreon, maybe. Facebook updates, I don't know. Oh, she took my lighter again. Girl. I can't take my only lighter. Jenny! Hey. Oh, Hey, can I see the lighter? I see the lighter? Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate it. Sorry. So this is going to be 
the new space. Smaller. But more affordable. Because I was already trying to think of how I was going to pack all my shit up here. And then I was just like, that's ridiculous. Calm the fuck down, because that's not going to work. <laughs> so 100%, I'm super excited for that space downstairs. If that wasn't there, I couldn't do anything with my future, with my life. I'll be like, oh, oh, this is all bad. Everything bad, but it's not that case. <laughs> and it's not good to think negative anyway. <laughs> so let's snap out of that. I'm super excited though. I've been looking for new jobs, bros and gals, and they're calling me back. Somebody wanted me to be a brand ambassador. Oh my God, could you imagine? Oh, that'd be so fun. So my backyard out here is like wickety whack, and I'm gonna whack it up with some Whacker. Wiki wax. Okay, so what's the bed is not mine, so I won't have a bed in my other room. So it's kind of sucks, but the mattress and the springboard is mine, so that's really cool. <sighs> my bed is on the floor again. So that kind of sucks, but it won't be on the floor for long. So I'll just keep that in mind. It'll be on the floor, but it won't be on the floor for long, okay? And what else? Um, I have to walk up and down the stairs with all that shit. That's going to be hard. My poor little back. I've been feeling like back pains, or slightly back pains, like, well not pain, like this bump. It's like uh, my, s these weird bumps I'm getting on my back. I think it's like pinched nerves back there. It's crazy. But in the sense, I probably just need to keep on staying active and stretching and um, you know, not staying too still, using my body, staying in motion. And I think that will help. Damn. I really hope I get a new job soon, though. Something that I actually like. Um, something that's not going to wear me down. Because my body is not being, like, the best. And I just need to get in healthier shape overall, right? So, I'm going to be working on myself. Staying active, but... I want to get something that I can manage and do good at and strive to do, you know? I hope I get a job at Apple too. They said they're only hiring for temporary, but I could do that. I'll blow them away and show them how great of a worker I am. Turn temporary into permanent. Be 
be reliable. You know, be on time, be a great example of employee. Long lasting relationship with the customers. Um, this light behind me looks like a little demon light. Sorry, I'm all damn up my nose. So all that black stuff right there is all like hair, like a forest. And then that little white part back there is like the skin on my nose. I see on my brain. I do have a deviated septum. Damn, I have a big nose. Like, I don't know how you can make my nose look any better. Like, for my face. Like, my nose is a little turned up. If you would turn it down, I guess. That'd be like a... Oh, I guess, like, that would be a, something I could do. Turn my nose down, but then, uh, ew. Ew. And my lips will pull up. The round roundness of the my hair is so like uh no no we'll butcher it there's no I don't know I don't have a problem with my face I love my face. I love how I look. I... I think I look pretty cute. 
I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm a cute guy. <laughs> um, it's all of it. It's really just in the eyes. It's where all the emotion and the love and the hurt and the the confidence is. It's right there in those smoldery eyes. I'm so excited to get a job. I am kind of excited to get out of this room. I'm not excited to take my backdrop off. I think that's the only thing. I'm not excited to take it off because it was hard to get on. And I had to do it by myself, but I think I'm going to ask for help uh, for my roommates this time uh, because I don't have to do it all myself. What the fuck? You see my armpit? It's just like, it's like a 70, like an angle. What the fuck? My fat just like makes like a shape. You see the hell? Or is that just fat because the gravity? Oh, that's grav. Oh. That's gravity. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Life update. What is this? Does my shadow looks like Rihanna? Umbrella, Ella, Ella, A. Eh? <sighs> okay. I'm gonna go. I might post this video. Ugh, I want to post this video because I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this lifestyle. I am tired of these situations. I am tired of not being successful i am tired of not being true to like who i am 100 percent. i'm tired of all that and i want change i i deserve change i want better for myself i see a bright future ahead of me I want that future. I'm manifesting it. I am dreaming. I am taking the steps. I am studying. I am um, being dedicated. And I want to make sure I am going to do even better. And I want to be healthy. And I want to do it, like, consciously. And I am going to push myself. And I want better for myself. And this situation that I keep on putting myself in because of down times or being depressed in the past or just or like struggling and then I'm just tired of it so I'm gonna push myself even harder um I'm gonna dedicate myself I am I'm gonna push myself harder and I'm gonna dedicate myself I have the energy, I have the resources, and I'm gonna use them. I can work, I'm a great worker, I'm very creative, um, forward thinking, um, humanitarian, you know, like, you know, like, I care about the people around me, and I wanna make sure that everyone is sane and feeling confident about themselves, you know? And I know that's my life goal is like, I am gonna life goal is I want people all around the world to be more comfortable in their skin and to feel accepted and to have people around them understand them, 
understand each other better, even if there's a language barrier between you, that won't stop you from communicating, not with my help. And that's my goal. Like, I want to push towards my meaning um, of life, meaning the reason I'm alive, why I'm here. And, and, um, and I don't want to get stuck and thinking like things are meant like stuck in ways like no things are always changing i have to be um f go with the flow and i will um overcome it and i will do my best to be my best and to be a good example to the people around me and to show them that you can um be genuine you can show how you truly feel you can be honest and you can be a hard worker and you can be inspirational and you could be successful so i really just want to push towards that um <laughs> i've been ranting for a minute i really love you guys thank you for hanging out with me I'm super looking forward to the new setup coming soon. I hope you guys are too. Uh, I love you guys. Um, please check out my my Etsy store. Uh, please check out my um, Teespring store. Um, and then please check out my Patreon. Um, those will be all in the link below in the description. And um, you guys are going to love every bit of it. I'm giving you a piece of me and those um, links. All right. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon.